Hey guys and welcome to my channel where we talk about fashion, skincare and lifestyle in general so if that's something for you then hit that subscribe button and also remember to follow me on Instagram. I have a personal profile where I talk about everything and post about everything and I recently created a skincare related profile where obviously I talk about my skincare journey, tips, reviews and things like that. So you decide where you want to follow me on but I would appreciate if I saw you at one of those profiles. <laughs> one of those profiles. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. One, two, three, funk it. My darling, I love you, 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 I am. It's around 5 o'clock, 5 something, and I don't know why I'm so tired, but I feel extremely tired. I plan to film a few videos today. It didn't happen, so I feel so bad about not doing too much today, so I decided that screw it, I'm just going to film something, and since it's in the evening, or like it's afternoon anyway, I can just, you know, film my evening routine. I'm just gonna go through everything I use every single day. I'm going to exclude the things I'm not using every day, meaning exfoliators, peels, special treatments, because I also just started retinol, so I'm not gonna put that in, because it's not in my everyday routine, and probably for a few weeks, slash months, it's not going to be an everyday thing either. I'm not going to have masks, sheet masks, yeah, things like that. So it's just really my everyday basic skincare, basic, well, probably it's more than others use, but either way, I really don't wanna waste more of your time. I'm just gonna jump into this video because I also just wanna wash everything off my face. So as first up, I think I'm just going to take off my jewelry because it annoys me. And I don't think it's a good idea to clean your face with jewelry on. I mean, I always have my necklace on and that gets a bit annoying sometimes, but I simply cannot take it off myself. Or even if I take it off, it's just hard to put it back on. And yeah, so my necklace is always on, but I am going to put my hair together. I might go out for a headband as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that, I'll be back. So I brought this little headband with me simply because uh, <laughs> I might look like an idiot with it but it's a part of my skincare routine. I use it almost every morning and evening because I find it so much easier to do my skincare or makeup when I have this on. It feels comfortable on my head actually. And as you can see I have to tie it myself. It has some kind of like thing in it that makes the form or shape, <laughs> so cute, okay, but uh, yeah, so it's better than some of my other ones because the other ones when I put it on, if I already have some kind of mask on then it pulls all of it off, so if I forget putting a hairband on, headband, yeah, uh, I can still put it on without ruining everything that's on my face, okay, but now with this on, oh and by the way, I got this from Look Fantastic for Christmas time, so thank you very much for that. I don't know if you can purchase it because I got some questions about my other headbands. Um, and to be honest, I don't remember where I got that from. I think it was in some kind of goodie box, but yeah, probably you can get this somehow or something similar on, on eBay or AliExpress or Amazon or something like that. I don't know, but I really love this. I can really recommend something like this that you have to tie yourself. Okay, moving on. So as first step, I always do a double cleanse and today I have some kind of makeup on that is why my first step has to be an oil-based cleanser and this is a cleansing balm this is clean it zero from vanilla co oh, I forgot my spatula one moment yeah so obviously I do this routine in the bathroom normally so I might have to go out a few more times I don't know what else did I forget there but either way this product comes with a little spatula and normally there's a little plastic thing down here and very could keep it but I, I just have a spot for it in the bathroom so yeah I don't prefer doing that. I scratch out a little scoop one and a half two pea signs depending something like this and I love this because it really melts away all my makeup, all the creams and sunscreen that I'm using throughout the day. That is why I also want to mention that on days when I'm not wearing makeup, I use something else and since I had many days at home the last month or so, I've been using this Hallelujah 
Lyme and Pachyli cleanser from Antipodes. It's also a very good first step cleanse, but I feel like it's not as effective to clean my makeup as my cleansing balm is. So on the days when I don't have makeup or I don't wear mascara, this is fine enough. But when I have mascara or, you know, makeup in general, I lean toward a balm cleanser. So I take a pea, one and a half pea size more or less, with the spatula, put it on my finger, and then I always just divide it. And then when you go over your eyelashes, just hold just hold it on your eyelashes for some time so it gets, I don't know, a few seconds to melt the makeup off. And of course, always, always bring it down to your neck. <laughs> Wearing the sweater is not the best idea when you're cleaning your face. Okay, anyway, so as you might can tell, my face is still wet and it has to be wet. For the second step cleanse, I'm using my Foreo and a green tea foaming cleanser from Neogen. So I made my Foreo wet, I use a plump of this and then I wash my face for two minutes straight. One minute straight. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back with a clean face. After my double cleanse, I'm moving on to my toner step. And in the evenings, I'm using the Dark Spot Toner from Ole Henriksen. To apply this, I'm using this reusable cotton pad. I actually bought these very, very recently. <laughs> it's so typical of me because I ordered them from AliExpress, the same like bamboo kind of things, but... <laughs> They haven't arrived for a pretty long time and I finally saw it in a local store so I bought it for like five times the price and two days after they arrived in the post from Aliexpress but either way now I have enough. So I'm using this to apply it all over my face and the one I'm using is from a gift set so it's a mini size but I'm very happy with it so far so I am planning to repurchase it in the future probably very very soon because I would like to keep using it because as you can see I have dark spots from breakouts it's not like I have many breakouts but I'm very very bad at picking them especially recently because I spend so much time on skincare so as soon as I see something tiny I just pick on it and I know it's terrible and I really shouldn't do it and my skin has a better reaction for it if I haven't touched them it would be much better they would be gone the pimples breakouts would be gone and nothing would be left almost but I had to pick on them so either way I like how this helped with my dark spots probably it's not only this but the combination of the stuff I'm using but either way I'm happy with it so I'm going to repurchase that okay so toner stuff is done after the toner for the very same reason as I'm using my dark spot toner I'm using my snail essence snail 96 essence from Cozarx I've been using this product for extremely long time it lasts so long I've been using it I don't even know for how many months at least six seven months and in the last two months I've been using it morning Oi. So I've been using this in the morning and the evening as well because it helps to, you know, repair my skin from these dark spots and scars from breakouts. So that's the reason why I use it two times a day before that, before all these dark spots. I only used it once a day and that was fine, but I just feel like or I'm hoping that this will help me also get rid of these spots that I'm not so happy with. Yeah, and as you could see, I'm applying this with my fingers. I don't use cotton pad because I think it's better if I push it in than to put it on a cotton pad because I feel like then I lose way more product. After my essence, I normally use one serum. I used to use one serum. I always change these, but recently it has been this Green Door Face Serum from Nature Farm. Nature Farm. Yeah, it is an organic 
Danish brand and I've been using it for some time, I think I'm halfway-ish I enjoy this product but it's not the only serum I'm using so I use a little pump of this spread it over my face and neck area normally I'm more thorough with my neck and I try to go down to my chest but since I'm on camera now and I'm wearing this sweater it's not really an option so I'm using this serum and after the serum I'm using another serum it's simply because I bought this uh, Ole Henriksen set and I wanted to use them together so with the dark spot toner I'm also using this glow cycle retinol power serum with AHAs it's a super tiny serum I don't even know how big 7 milliliters but actually I've been using it for some time and I feel like it still has some I usually use one and a half pump of it it has this funny it has this funny purple color and as you might have heard me talk about it before I simply hate all Ole Henriksen fragrances, I cannot stand them so that's the reason why I don't really enjoy using this this is not as bad as the night cream that I'm going to show you very soon uh, I don't know, I just really don't enjoy the smell to be 100% honest, I haven't seen any crazy results with this or the cream I like the spot toner, but this... I don't know, I'm still in the testing phase after the serum, I'm using my eye cream, which is this kiwi seed oil eye cream from Antipodes and I recently got myself this little eye cream applicator I really love it, I think it's one of my best gadget purchases it was very inexpensive I can just dip it in here and you see there's some product on this so I can easily just put it under my eyes it's always cold I apply it the same way as I would, you know, apply it with my fingers. I really enjoy this cool feeling, especially in the morning when I have puffy eyes, it helps a lot. So I usually just go under, but not too close to my eye. And then here in the crossfeet area, and then also up here, but not on the eyelids, just here. Some people say that it makes no sense to go up there. It's not really proven in any way that it helps you to go up there. But rather be safe than sorry isn't that what they say after the eye cream my very last step is face cream obviously <laughs> so face cream and the one i'm using now is this only hendrickson good night glow once again with uh, Bakuchoil and AHAs. it's the same it's from the same line as the serum and the dark spot toner was I cannot stand the smell. I hate it so much. I said it already about the serum, but with this it's even worse. It's so pretty. I love this purpley color, but the smell that's supposed to be lemonade, I think, or whatever they said, I really find it close to disgusting. <laughs> and everyone else I talk to, they love it. I don't know why I hate it so much. For me, it's just too artificial. And um, yeah, I just don't enjoy it. So unless I will see great 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 results with this cream I will likely not repurchase it because of the smell but as I said as I predicted I will have to go to the bathroom again because I forgot my spatula for my creams so I'm going to be back okay so I'm back with my spatula which again was a game changer for me this one is from Aliexpress I'm sure you can buy it in many other places as well it was super inexpensive I I think it might have been free because I don't know if you know but on Aliexpress or was it Wish? I don't know one of those or both of them have these like free items where you only have to pay for delivery which is super cool so I think if I'm right I paid like 16 crowns for this I mean it was a two pack so I paid almost nothing I mean for the product I, I paid nothing but then you, you paid the delivery either way so it was super cheap and it's very smart because I can use it for all my creams so I don't have to dip my finger or my nails into it it's way more hygienic oops so it's way more hygienic than you know using my finger or anything else so I just usually take it from the side take around this amount 
take it with my finger. I think it might be a bit too much, let's see. And then, once again, just spread it. Actually, with this product, a little goes a long way. You know, it's hydrating and I'm sure it works because on the days when I have breakouts or I've been using a stronger chemical peel, I can feel that it itches. So I'm sure the AHAs are working in this. I don't know the percentage of the AHAs in this cream, but as I said, they are working. But I just, I just unfortunately don't enjoy using it and skincare is about having fun and enjoying the products I'm using. So once again, it's on my final review, but at the moment I'm on fence with this line. So the cream is on, but I just want to mention that some days I'm using other products. So on days when I have been using stronger chemical peels or when I exfoliated, then I don't use this cream with AJs. I use one of these two instead. One of them is this one from Antipodes and it's their Vanilla Pot Hydrating Day Cream. Yes, it is a day cream, but it is way too heavy for me for a day cream. I prefer this as night cream and same with this green door face cream. It's from the same line as my serum. This smells so dreamy. I love it so, so much. And when I wake up in the morning, mm, I don't feel greasy at all. It just moisturizes me the perfect way for the night. So even though it's a day cream, for me, it is perfect for night cream. I really, really like this. So I lean towards this on the days when I'm not using this. Even on the days when I'm using this, I would rather use this, to be honest. So these are my other options for night cream these days. And as a very, very, very last optional step, so maybe I shouldn't even put it in this video, but I feel like, unfortunately, I've been getting some breakouts quite often these weeks-ish. So I use it almost every night. This is... The Rescue Me Blemish Care from Formula 1006. I got this gifted from the brand as well. In the start, I wasn't so sure I'm going to like it, but I actually like it a lot. I normally prefer the Cozarx pimple patches, but I run out of them. So this is basically a spot treatment with salicylic acid. It's not as crazy drying as, for example, a tree spot treatment would be. I also try to cut down with those because I have those sticks with it and I heard that they are not that good for your skin to basically just dry the breakout off your skin. I felt with this one that this is perfectly fine for me. Some people are using spot treatment before their serums or creams. I don't do that. I prefer to do it after my moisturizer. I feel like it works perfectly fine for me. It still has the effect. So on the days when I put this on, or night, nights when I put this on, I put it on, wake up in the morning, and they're not gone, not as crazy gone as they would be with the pimple patch, but they work fine, although I feel like that they peel. So that's why on days, like daytime wear, they are not as good but for the evening they are perfect. So now I can see that I have a breakout coming or I can feel it actually. So, oh, that was a bit too much. I take a super tiny, I don't even know if you can see, and then put it on here. I don't know what I'm doing, I cannot see. I have one pimple here for sure. I'm gonna put it on or break out or wanna break out something is here. I'm gonna put it on. And I don't think I have anything else because I think these are spots. And as I said, I'm only looking at the display so I don't really see the difference. Either way, I just put it on and we're done. So that was it. That was my skincare routine for tonight and for most of my nights, the last few weeks or months basically. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you get something out of it. If you have any questions regarding the products, feel free to ask me in the comments or contact me on Instagram, email, whatever you feel like. So yes, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you at my next one. Bye.